Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I wanna show you a quick trick that you can do to help extend the life of your Cricut blade. So you're gonna to wanna to grab yourself some tin foil. And now you're gonna just crumple that into a ball, okay? Pretty tight, but not too, too tight. So then we will go ahead and grab our blade. You want it in the casing. So now what we're gonna do is just push the blade out and we're gonna jab this. Please be careful that you don't stab yourself. Do this about, <laughs> This looks so psycho. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, anyways. Um, but yeah, I usually do this like tw uh -oh, 25 times. So that does definitely happen. So it's back in there. Um, but yeah, I do this about 25 times. Now, I'm not saying this is gonna like resharpen your blade like brand new, but it does clean off some of the gunk that's on it. Um, and it can help sharpen it slightly. So usually what I do is take a big ball of foil and I shove it in this little pocket right here. And then after I've cut like a big job and I wanna get any gunk off, I just push this out and I kinda just jab it like that a couple times just to keep the blade clean. And I have noticed it does help keep it a little bit sharper. Now the other way I've seen it done to kinda sharpen your blade a little is take a sheet of tin foil like this and put it on your Cricut mat and then you're gonna cut like scoring lines. So you're just gonna go right into your shapes and you're gonna pick this score line. So then I usually do about 20 of these in a row and then you just cut the foil um, and it sharpens it when it goes across. So that's it for today's video. Those are my couple tips for extending the life of your Cricut blade. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit this bell so you're alerted when I upload a video. And I'll talk to you later.